Hey everybody, it's Brad from Belgrade. Uh, I'm here at St. Sava Temple Park. It's approximately 9.30 at night. And I wanted to show you what the park was like on a Sunday. Um, there's lots of kids here, and there was some families here I saw, some couples, and also some single people as well, just walking around uh, St. Sava uh, Temple, which is in the background there. Very beautiful at night, very well lit up. And, um, so I'm gonna cut over to the, the front camera and I'm gonna take you on a little walk uh, to show you the night scenes of St. Sava. All right, so as you can see, we're starting at almost the very front of the park. You're gonna come in, you're gonna see uh, some walking tiles and you're gonna see the beautiful, beautiful church. Now, if you do this in the winter time, the leaves on the trees will be um, down and off, they'll just be um, sticks, but <clears throat> here we are, some lovebirds, oh, look at them, and they match too, probably brother and sister, who knows, anyways, so here's St. Salva Temple, and let's go for a little walk, so uh, I've lived here for over a year now, actually I just, tonight, <laughs> was the very first time I watched my very first video I did in Belgrade when I first arrived. Um, that kind of, you know, got me a little bit famous here. Because I was feeling a little depressed tonight, and I just wanted to see what I said. And it uh, inspired me to make another video. Wow. Beautiful. So, if you go to the left, it's a very, very nice park at night. Very beautiful. Very well lit, very safe. So as I was saying, um, before the church bells rang, I was feeling a little depressed and I came out here and I sat on a bench and I watched the full 36 minutes or whatever of my very first video in Belgrade. And I wanted to make another video tonight actually made me a lot happier to see how far I came uh, since I first got here and I've come pretty far and I'm very proud of myself and I hope to go even further as well look at this church it's so beautiful and they, I think they're they finished or they're still finishing the inside I think they finished the first floor I think I haven't been in it yet I've been in the basement and that was very beautiful like very, very beautiful. It's all gold down there. And you have fountains that run, I think, 24 hours a day. And on the right here, we have the National Library. And what this is, is it's like an archive. And the original one on the other side of the town was bombed by Germany. I believe it was bombed by Germany in the Second World War. And they have a new one now. Look at these fountains. And the water is like so clean. So yeah, this is what it looks like at night. A lot of teen couples are out here. Uh, we're not going to go this way because there's not very much. It just, uh, goes, it just goes around the back of the temple. And to me that's not very interesting. But, as you can see, there's a huge concourse here. Look at this. So beautiful. That's where we came from, down there. So I don't want to make this like a super long video or anything like that. But as you can see, there's no criminals in these parks. There's no homeless people. There's no thugs, no hustlers. Two girls, some teen couples, cuddling over there on the bench. Look at that. That's why Belgrade is such a good city to live in for quality of life. Because you have dogs all over. I have never seen so many dogs in my life. And I came from San Diego, guys. I think there's more dogs here per capita. 
and then you have grass for the dogs to run on and then more grass for the kids and the dogs and this is open 24 hours a day so in america the police will come run you out of the parks if they see you in the parks at night because uh, we have a lot more crime to worry about there's no crime here you could come here at two or three in the morning and be just as safe as you are right now and there's lots of people around so you know if you don't feel comfortable in public parks alone there's always people around and they're probably going to be around all night you know after 12 a.m they might be kind of getting drunk on the bench but they're not causing any problems people that come here and drink in public they come usually as a group of friends and it's usually a group of younger guys and they just drink on the benches and they keep to themselves everyone keeps to themselves here they don't bother you look at that playground um, let me show you these things because these are cool to lay on at night because there's no kids it's like a swing like a bed kind of let me show you Look at that. So you can just lay on there and just swing. It's, it's very relaxing. They have these at Taj Biden right next to my house. And then you can just like look up at the stars while you're swinging, contemplating life, how you're going to stay on Belgrade, stuff like that. So as we can see, we have some teenagers being very good and uh yeah so this is it it's just so freaking beautiful the colors are popping on my camera it looks like that in real life the lighting in the park is very good all the pathways are lit all the pathways are beautifully aligned there's dogs there's couples And right there's the church again. Oh, look at that dog. Look at how beautiful St. Salva is. Wow. I'm not really religious, but that is a very nice building. And it is very nice on the inside, this wall. So if you come to Belgrade, make sure you put St. Salva on your to-visit list. Um, I think it's by donation only, so I don't think you have to pay to get in. But leave a few hundred an hour behind. It will help a lot. Look at this dog. There's another one too. And the dogs here are like so well behaved. These are not strays. They're owned by someone. Either the people in front of here maybe. Or it's someone's dogs. They're not strays. Guys, I had to like ask myself of my dad because dog, the dogs don't even uh, respond to you. They don't... I think he sees my soul. Hi. Hi. Anyways, it's funny because the dogs in America would like run up to you and start licking you. But the dogs here are very wary of strangers. So next to the park, there's an apartment block, which uh, if you come to Belgrade, you might want to investigate in an apartment here because it's overlooking the park. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, if you want to know how to get to St. Sava uh, Temple, just type it into Google Maps and then hit the public transportation uh, route and uh, it'll take you right here through public transportation. And it'll take about 15 minutes from city center to get here. I walked here. It's not very long from city center. Maybe a 20-minute walk, 25-minute walk. Uh, See, so it's walkable as well. So if it's not hot outside and it's kind of cool at night, uh, just take a walk. You can always take public transportation back, or you can take a cab or cargo. It's just like Uber. It's C-A-R-G-O, cargo. So, yeah. And here's the exit, and there's more benches. Here's a tram. My favorite way to uh, travel around Belgrade is a tram. You have some guys escaping their wives. 
We got some phone boosts. And there we go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video tonight, and I hope you come to Belgrade. And uh, if you do, you get bored at 2 or 3 in the morning, take a walk. It's completely safe, and I hope to see you here. Good night and ciao.